right friends welcome back to seventh module of this abbreviations the first one is kefrol kefrol is a center for advanced financial research and learning this is the institute established by reserve bank of india started functioning from mumbai the main purpose of this institution is to develop it into as a global institution for research and learning in banking and finance it started functioning from mumbai please don't forget look at the next one compound annual growth rate cagr is compound annual growth rate if a company was established 3 4 years ago normally the growth rate is calculated from that instance up to till date on the basis of compound annual growth rate all of you are well aware about compound interest similar way the growth rates are also calculated that's why it is called compound annual growth rate capex capex is capital expenditure what is the difference between capital expenditure and revenue expenditure capital expenditure is basically for creation of assets if you purchase some land if you purchase some house that is capital expenditure If you are going to five star hotel and eating something by spending 1000 rupees that is revenue expenditure so capital expenditure is basically for creation of assets right kasa current account savings account this kasa ratio is basically important from banking perspective because the kasa percentage determines the cost of funds for the banking system when cost of percentage is more cost of funds will be less for banking system right when cost is less cost of funds will be more in the banking system because this cost of deposits the interest rate is very less if it is current account no interest if it is savings account around 4% interest right look into the next one cblo collateralized borrowing and lending obligation collateralized borrowing and lending obligation the organization which ever borrows they have to pay back in time and for that as a security government securities like treasury bills or dated government securities are used treasury bills or dated government securities are used as collateral security when one financial institution is borrowing from other financial institution so this collateral borrowing and lending obligation is a money market instrument and here the collateral security is treasury bill or government dated security please don't forget ulip ulip is unit linked insurance plan unit linked insurance plan combines not only insurance but also investment when you combine both the properties of insurance and investment it is called a unit linked insurance plan and the regulator for ulips is irdai please don't forget irdai is headquartered in hyderabad cca is a cabinet committee on economic affairs for taking important decisions some ministers in the union cabinet will sit together and this group is called cabinet committee on economic affairs and the prime minister is the chairman of cabinet committee on economic affairs please don't forget clearing corporation of india limited lot of trading is taking place in government securities lot of trading is taking place in money market instruments similarly foreign exchange transactions the agency ccil is the clearing agency ccil is the clearing agency in government securities foreign exchange and money market instruments ccil was established in the year 2001 please don't forget look into the next one dfhi limited this is discount and finance house of india limited or you can say primary dealer primary dealer means who transacts in government securities 
primary and secondary the government securities transactions that is securities transactions in treasury bills dated securities take place through primary dealers and for the banking system as a whole this sbi dfhi acts as the primary dealer this dfhi acts as the primary dealer for the banks look into the next one dgba rbi this is department of government and bank accounts this is one department under reserve bank of india dicgc deposit insurance and credit guarantee corporation if a bank goes into liquidation dicgc guarantees you a maximum payment of up to rupees 1 lakh rupees and the premium will be paid for this insurance by the respective banks dmic delhi mumbai industrial corridor delhi mumbai industrial corridor is coming up in the western part of the country right and look into the next one otp all of you are well aware about otp one time password if you are doing some e-commerce transaction you will receive one time password to your registered mobile so as to act as a second stage authentication tri differential rate of interest this scheme was brought in the year 1972 where the banks are required to lend 1% of their previous year's lending at a 4% interest rate to the poorest of the poor in the country DSCR is a debt service coverage ratio you have taken loan you started a company you have taken loan you have to pay back 1 lakh rupees to the bank every month if your income every month is rupees 1 lakh then your debt service coverage ratio will be 1 and you will be perceived somewhat safe dsips domestic systemically important banks please don't forget this S stands for systemically. D SIPs means domestic systemically important banks. The main purpose of systemically important banks is they are very important in the financial system. They are too big to fail. If they fail, then it will have adverse impact in the economy as a whole. And please don't forget, Reserve Bank of India recently nominated two banks, State Bank of India and ICICI Bank, as the domestic systemically important banks. national disaster response force whenever there is uh, any eventuality then national disaster response force will be called and this is as per disaster management act this has got a statutory status as per disaster management act free trade agreement when there is free trade agreement among the countries then trade barriers will be less free trade agreements are normally signed between various countries there may be bilateral there may be multilateral you may ask what is bilateral when the agreement is between two countries then it is bilateral when the agreement is between several countries it is multilateral next one is gdr gdr is global depository receipt that means these are the receipts released in various countries against the underlying shares in a foreign country if someone in russia wants to purchase indian stock of infosys then he can purchase global depository receipt released in russia where the underlying share will be infosys right adrs and gdrs convey almost the same meaning but adrs are american depository receipts and gdrs are global depository receipts gairo government internal revenue order government is trying to come up with a unified payment system across the country that is bharat bill payment system for all types of retail transactions and government internal revenue order is the term pertaining to unified payment system across the country look at the next abbreviation gm crops gm crops is genetically modified crops this word pertains to agriculture 
where the dna of the crop is modified so as to get more yield at the same time so as to ensure better pest resistance so gm crops is genetically modified crops look at gslv gslv is a geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle look into the next one hft hft is held for trading held for trading this is the term associated with accounting when some securities are held for trading mnp or if you are well aware mobile number portability mobile number portability is if you have the number in lucknow if you migrate to bangalore you can keep the same number right so this is about the seventh module please do join for eighth module have a nice day thank you